What was your favorite memory as a club sport athlete? I feel like there's a lot of great memories. Um, I could come up with three, so I'll rattle through <laughs> three different memories. Um, my first memory that I think was pretty positive and a big memory for the women's club volleyball team was in 2018, we won regionals for the first time. And it was really just exciting to achieve something we had not achieved before and worked really hard throughout the whole season to win the entire league championship, basically. Um, so that was pretty awesome. And then in 2019, at Nationals, the men's club volleyball team, which our team is very close with, they won Nationals. And just getting to watch them and cheer them along the whole process was so cool and just so much fun. And then my last favorite memory was from this year. Before our season got cut short, thankfully, we were able to host a home tournament. And for years, we've never been able to win our home tournament. It's kind of this just joke that we have that we like can't win our home tournament. But this year, we managed to pull through and win the whole thing. And I just remember the other senior who was on the court with me, Simi Sola, she and I just like fell to the floor and we were like so happy. So that was pretty awesome. So when we played at uh, Nationals in Dallas a couple years ago, we made it all the way to the national championship game. And we lost to Florida Gulf Coast three to one um, in the finals, but but it was awesome. It was it was it was filmed, it was on it was streamed. Um, it was at the Dallas Stars, um, one of their rinks, but it was a pretty big rink. Um, so it was it was a lot of fun and, and there were a lot of people watching. Um, it was and it was really good hockey, it was a great game. Um, and being at Nationals that year um, and the previous year at Columbus when we made the Final Four um, was was a lot of fun as a team. Um, those trips have been great. They really bring the team together. Um, and again, it's, it's awesome hockey. It's really, really competitive. And uh, and we've had some success in, in recent years. So it's, it's, been, it's been awesome. Yeah, my favorite overall memory has to be um, our nationals trips. Um, it's something we do every year at the end of the year. Um, it's a travel trip. So we, we get the whole team on a plane and we go fly somewhere and play all the other teams in the country. Um, it's a ton of fun, you know, stay in a hotel for a couple of days. Um, and our, the best one was without a doubt last year's um, in Kansas City where we ended up winning um, the national title. Unfortunately, we couldn't defend it this year because uh, nationals got canceled due to COVID. The pandemic. The Congratulations pandemic. on that. Yeah, but I got to end on a high note, um, which is which is good, even though it came from last year. I struggled with this one, because um, not to sound cliche, but there are there are so many. Um, I, I think that that I'm gonna I'm going to sound cliche when I say that my favorite memory has happened, you know, off the rink. Um, I, I I was a hockey player, but it doesn't. Uh, my favorite memories when I think of club sports have very little to do with hockey. You know, it's it's really all the people that I got to meet, you know, our, our annual Christmas party, our holiday party that we would have every year. Um, we did a secret Santa that was always just, just the funniest thing. Um, always something to look forward to. Wor worth the price of admission just for that. Um, it's the early morning van rides. It's, you know, going to the airport with the team and, 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 and dealing with all the, the snafus that come up over the years and all just, just the little things, um, getting to know everybody and, and, and making those connections that I'm going to have for the rest of my life. Um. I think my favorite memory um, would probably be beating Yale uh, in overtime at uh, one of the water polo tournaments my sophomore year. So I think 2018, 2019. Uh, so it was pretty close that year. Um, and then we tied it up in the fourth quarter and we went to overtime and then we won in overtime. Um, and then we ended up placing into the semifinals that year. So. I think that really helped spearhead that season. Um, yeah, that was a really good, really good memory. Right. Yeah. It's it's a uh, it, it was pretty consistently good. So it's tough to narrow it down. Um, but I'd say the the one that comes to mind first is winning our 15th championship this past fall. Um, it was the team I was most involved in on and off the field, and we went undefeated. Uh, so that was pretty pretty great moment uh, finishing that off. And then. Um, I think all of our long seven trips, like the LA this year and Vegas the year before, uh, at least the ones I was involved in, um, were definitely highlights as well. Yeah, that that has got to be uh, in 2017. We won the Northeast Regionals uh, and with a with a perfect record, beating MIT, Harvard, Boston University, all sort of our uh, recurring rivals. 
uh, that definitely has got to be right up there. Uh, it, it was really exciting. Uh, there was a little bit of a delay. We got to the final, but then that day there was a lot of rain. Boston being Boston, so the game had to be like delayed by a day, but still we got the game in and we were able to win. And that that was definitely the highlight. Well, the Northeastern cheerleading team gets to travel a lot, being a club sport as well. So my sophomore year, we traveled to the CAA tournament. Actually, my sophomore year and junior year, we traveled to the CAA tournament in Charleston. And my junior year, we were able to go and we won the CAA tournament with the men's basketball team. So being a part of that was amazing. And just like celebrating that championship was so much fun. And like, I'll always look back and be like, that was one of the best times we had. Yeah.